I got poison oak literally growing right where I need to work, so. Our little weather station is up to its ear balls and hey, I'm really trying to be a good sport about this, but I've seen mice, a little salamander, and an actual snake just now. So this is a little bit like the moment of truth. It's not like the moment of truth, it is the moment of truth. It's been a couple weeks since I worked on this gotten all overgrown which I didn't want to happen um, but I needed to get the rears mounted and since I've been here last I got poison oak literally growing right where I need to work so it's just how it is So I'm out today because Kirk exploded our comforter and there's feathers everywhere. Kirk exploded our comforter last night and I cannot get all of the feathers out of my hair no matter how hard I try. It's going to be a day. And this is my duct tape solution right now. So it's probably been about, I don't know, over 10 years since we've bought any bedding and I forgot how expensive it is, but trying to take advantage of one of these sales. I can't point <laughs> one of these sales. Get us a new comforter so we don't wake up covered in feathers again. But unfortunately we have a Cal King and those are hard to find and they're more pricey. And just to emphasize, Cal Kings are incredibly hard to find. <laughs> Everything is just a regular King. I'm not stressed. This is not a stressful situation. This is easy. This is the easiest thing we're gonna do this year. All right, we are officially starting the day. We decided against the comforter after all the drama and just decided to sew up our old ones. So problem solved there. And now we're headed to the land to fix the lawnmower. Kirk has the fuel pump and he's gonna get going on that. And this, was there anything else you have to do? <clears throat> they sent the wrong carburetor and I hope that it runs with the carburetor that's on it. So we'll see with the new fuel pump. Okay, it's all about cutting the lawn today. So if we get that lawnmower running, we'll start getting safe for fire season. So let's go. Right, we just got to the land. We're gonna try to move pretty quickly today. Kirk's gonna start on the lawnmower, uh, the fuel tank. I'm gonna start clearing out this area in front of the RV so that we can actually whack it, mow it, and see how far we can get with it today, but. How much poison oak is under? Yes. Be careful, there's a lot of poison oak. Oh, we'll have to get poison oak killer. It's underneath of all this too. Oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just move where do you want me to move all this? There's overgrown weeds everywhere. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think my first project is probably putting everything in the driveway. Pretty much. Maybe over there. Okay. All right. So we're going to get as far as we can today. And hopefully it looks different when we leave today. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> that's the goals. <laughs> So this area out here with the AstroTurf, the two by fours, our carpet, all that, 
That's what I'm clearing out, and you can see how high it's overgrown. Our little weather station is up to its ear balls in hay. I guess it's not hay, I don't know what this is. Weeds, up to its ears in weeds, and of course, as I'm just even looking and filming around here, you can hear the scurrying of mouse and lizards and hopefully not rats, but they're all in here, so. So gloves on, and once we find Kirk's gloves, we're getting to it. A little, I don't know, salamander jumped at me. It was too wet to be a lizard. <laughs> there it is. Sorry, sorry. It has no legs. It's like a black and blue mini snake. And it's fast. It's like Satan in the garden. Oh, I'll be fine if they don't crawl up on my body. Yeah. You'll only hear yelps. I gotta go watch a YouTube video to remind myself how to do it. Oh! <laughs> That, that little area over there with the wood was a baby mouse home. Oh yeah? I tried to cover it so that we could not eat them. I'm really trying to be a good sport about this, but I've seen mice, a little salamander, and an actual snake just now. Like, I didn't think today would be such a scary day pulling up the, the grass, <laughs> but I'm not as good of a nature woman as I thought. Sorry, Dad. National Geographic made me feel brave on the TV screen, but... <gasps> Yuck. Yuck. And when I say snake, I mean like a little one, but um, <laughs> I want to show you, but like <laughs> I have to pull up that corner and <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> it's just <laughs> under there. Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, there's two. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, there's three. Oh, there's so many. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, let me zoom, let me see, can you see it? There's a little family. There's the, oh, ew. Oh gosh, there's a hole, ew. Kirk, I found a snake family. There's like many, many snakes. Oh. oh. Kirk, I am fine if you run over those little snake families. Oh, I'm, I'm really nervous to take up the rest of this. They went into little snake holes. Like. Yeah, that's what those holes are. Just pull them, just drag them. I, I did, it was at the opening corner though, so I had to look. Okay, I'm gonna do it without looking. I was not ready, okay. I'm just gonna pull and go. Oh, oh, oh. Not looking, not looking, not looking. Oh, oh, oh. Not looking. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. How's it going with the lawnmower? It's going okay. I broke this nut off the top right here. You broke it? So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I have to be okay for right now. Is it just for the seat, or is it holding something important? It's the spring that holds this 
seat and it holds the body down, but one will have to work. Okay, so it's kind of not for the engine. No. Okay. It's in pretty rough shape anyway, so it'll have to do one. Well, I noticed you duct taped the front, so. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so where are you at with the fuel tank? I got to jack this body up and bend it because they want you to take the whole th this whole thing apart. So I'm just going to bend it up enough to get it out and hopefully be able to get it out. We'll see what happens. Okay. I'm just going to go finish pulling up the grass. Okay. And clearing that area. Maybe we can at least weed whack something. All right. This is the crack on the old fuel tank. And then this is the new fuel tank. These things are not the same. Is this new one gonna fit? The fuel line is on the other side. They have that little extension. So I it sh should be okay. I might need a little union. So one big step of getting the old fuel tank out now second half of the day, getting the fuel tank back in. All right, so Kirk had bought a new fuel tank for the lawnmower because the old one was cracked. And just trying to put the new one in, it's a little too big and the fuel line doesn't connect to where the old fuel line was. So there's a couple little things left in the box, a barb and some sort of extender. So hopefully before we have to return this one and buy a new one, we can oh, get one I of see. these to work. Oh, hold on. Maybe good news. Well, so that little bracket goes there. That'll hold it, but it's still seems long. Is it this bracket here? Yeah. See. Okay, so that fits in there. <sighs> All right, well, we're going to see if we can problem solve this real quick. We meaning I'm here for go-getting, but hopefully we can get this fuel tank to work. RTFM. What's that? Read the effing manual. <laughs> Thank you. 
Shake it up, shake it up, ooh hoo. Shake it up, shake it up, ooh hoo. So this is a little bit like the moment of truth. It's not like the moment of truth, it is the moment of truth. Um, Kirk changed the fuel tank, he connected the fuel line, and now he's gonna fill it with gas to bleed the system a little bit. So we're gonna fill it up, try to get it running, see if we can mow this area and go over that section I cleared. The reason I had to clear that section over there is because we wanted to be able to just run the mower over it because it is just wildly overgrown. You saw the um, weeds growing through the astroturf and it was out of control. The weeds are as tall as me. Gotta do something about you. Let's see how this thing works. So I missed an astroturf and we got it caught in the blade so we're gonna have to get that out. Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief Better 
see with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran sitting on me, I still go Go, 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 go Okay, so the lawnmower was working good for a little bit, but it did the same thing that it did last year is um, it, I don't know, overheats or Kirk thinks maybe the spark plugs get too hot and then it stops working for a little bit. It needs to get you tuned up, yeah. It needs to be tuned up, but we at least got this entryway done and then he has to decide whether he's going to replace those coils or not, but. That's <laughs> pretty much it. We got the main area done. Yeah. All be able to still green so it's not a huge fire hazard yet but i need to change the batteries on the rv right now that's the last thing then we got a bunch of stuff to clean up and most importantly kirk saved the mouse house <laughs> they're dead they're as good as dead like that no. those snakes are gonna eat them. they're covered with boards i covered them And here is the pile of stuff that was moved from the front. Kirk had me doing manual labor today. We got lithium iron phosphate batteries on the RV now. And that is really good. Pretty good. Modern. Yes. All right, we've reached the end and uh, we're just gonna clean up and head out. We got quite a bit to go cleaning up here, but daylight's gone and we're about to be too. Lately we've had to battle the curse of enough. Not having enough money, not enough time, energy, patience, tools, no matter how you slice it, when your dreams are as big as a house, sacrifice comes with the territory. We'll just keep taking tiny steps forward and using whatever we have to do it. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us on Patreon. This turkey scared the mess out of me. baby mice oh I'm sorry oh I found their hole if I find the mouse family home can I cover it I don't care oh lord please don't let there be more mice homes please 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 oh this is a mice home I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, Kirk! We are still working on clearing the land. 
with the mower. And what's gonna happen is Kirk said, you wanna ride the tractor? And of course I do, obviously. And I said, am I gonna get yelled at? And he said, probably. 